Hello guys, today I'm going to tell you about the Binance Stock Exchange, the most popular one according to the Coin Hill statistics. So let's go. Here we are on the main page. I also will provide the link down below this video. So let's click on the register button. For the Binance registration, only a man and password needed. All you fill the mail and password fields, you can agree with Binance's terms of use and click on the register button. Here we should drag and drop the puzzle. And you will see the message that in order to complete the registration process, look for an email in your inbox that provides the first instructions. You should find this message in your inbox in case um, you don't see it. Check the spam emails. And we click on verify email button. When our account is activated, we can log in. And again, here we should add our email and password. Move puzzle to the right and we add them. For the security, it's extremely important to do the double authentication, so let's do it. Here you can see four steps to enable Google Authentication. The first one is to download the app for scanning our QR code. I already have on my phone, so let's proceed. So here are the QR code given to scan and this uh, password or secret key. It's very important to write it down somewhere because it's always an access to your cryptocurrencies. This step three, you can see that uh, this key will allow you to recover your Google authentication in case of phone loss. Let's go on the next step now. I already entered my secret key, password, so now in your phone you will see six digits that will change every 30 seconds. Make sure to enter the latest and click on enable Google authentication. In case the authentication process was successful, you will see your account data. In case you saw the message that binding was failed, it can happen sometimes. So go to the application for scanning the QR code, click on settings on time correction for codes and click on the button sync now. After that it should work. In the corner you can see the daily withdrawal limit which is 2 bitcoins. In case you want to withdraw more bitcoins in a day, you should put the uh, verification process. So we we'll click on submit verification documents button. If you're not living in China, then choose international. First is the main information is your name, gender, country, passport ID. After that, scan your document, whether it's national ID or driver license, and the front on the back as well and take selfie with the today's date and your document. After that you can s click on the submit button. Also be patient because usually this verification procedure takes time. Here we are on the all page again. So how can we um, add funds to Binance? Pretty simple. Click on deposits and withdrawals. Now you will see the list of all cryptocurrencies on Binance. In order to transfer a coin into Binance, click on the deposit next to preferred coin. And the address will be given. Copy the address. Now you can use this address to send coins from any other exchanges. Let's see how we can perform buy and sell transactions. Go to the exchange and click on the basic in the menu item. On the right side we can see the pairs of coins. You can choose any you like. I took near 2 Bitcoin just for an example. On the left panel you can see the order book and the chart in the middle. So in order to buy or sell some news we should set the desired price. It's Now it's the current price by default but you can choose the more most profitable for you and set some amount, for instance 10. And after that simply click on buy or sell button. Binance has created its own crypto coin which is known as BNB. The cool thing if you'll buy this coin on the exchange and click this button on, you will get 50% discount for the first year of using your account. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, put the like. I wish you more cryptocurrencies in your pockets. Bye-bye.